Hi, my name is Vanessa. I work at the Co-op Support Office in Sydney um, as a senior category buyer in the book category. Um, with my job I read a lot of books um, and I read them for pleasure and that's part of the job. So today I'm going to review um, the Margaret Atwood, The Heart Comes Last. Um, it's Margaret Atwood's um, most recent book, um, the amount of book was last year. Um, it's set in a, a near future in America. Um, all the jobs have gone for the likes of you and I. Um, and it's about a couple called Stan and Charmaine who live in their car. Um, they get by on her wages and tips. Um, if you imagine something like the Truman Show, where these guys offer an amazing community where you can go and live, you get jobs, you get a beautiful house, there's a catch though, which is every other month you have to go to prison. So you have a beautiful uh, month's life and you have to go to prison and vice versa. Um, everything is not as it seems and as the book progresses um, it turns out that there's some lot of dodgy stuff going on in there and then we just want to know if can Stan and Charmaine survive or not. Uh, it's funny, it's not serious, it's really easy to get into, it's not um, an apocalyptic book in any way, it's just a nice story. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's fun. Um, Margaret Atwood has got an imagination that is about 400 times the size of mine um, and she always brings um, something different to her stories and you don't expect what's going to happen in this. Um, but there's a lot of references to Elvis, Marilyn, Vegas, um, robots, uh, sex bots and stuff, so uh, it's very modern. Um, anything I don't like about it? Um, I don't know, I think it tidied everything up very neatly. I think she clearly had a plan for all her characters um, and maybe there could have been a bit more um, left open for the reader to think about. Um, but apart from that, it's great and I would recommend it. I reread it uh, for this review and I enjoyed it as much the second time. Uh, so please enjoy that book.